for the perfect foundation base first i go in with my primer so i'm using the maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser and this has a silicone base and it's only for adults and it's lightweight primer smooth poreless looking skin right so i use this and i go on my face so this is after i've obviously cleansed my face so i would have washed um moisturized and then i put on primer so this has a poreless effect right so after i've done put on my primer the next thing i do is i cover my dark spots with a concealer so i use the concealer that you see on my face right now is a mixture of this um allegra pro concealer in the shade fawn and then also a mix of this Mary Kay concealer in the shade bronze one okay so these two are what so the the lighter one so this one is up here and then like the one that matches my skin you can see right here so this one is the fawn because the fawn matches my skin like pretty closely and then this one here is this one which you can see I had excess on my brush after I did my under eyes so that's why i had put it there step one after you've cleansed moisture and done all that you prime and step two you cover dark spots with a concealer step three for enough people would have been like to put on a foundation next but actually for me for a flawless foundation base i then go in with powder and what i'm gonna do is take my sponge and i'm gonna put it under my eye and i'm gonna put a lot i don't mind how much i put here because the foundation is not on as yet you know so if it's too harsh like it's gonna be covered by the foundation anyway but i'm gonna press the powder into my skin i'm gonna press the powder into my skin my t-zone my pores tend to be bigger here and sometimes the foundation don't set as good so that's where I'm gonna do it so for any anyone that has trouble with like dry looking foundation that comes under under like one of your eyes also helps for anyone that their foundation looks sweaty or looks uneven or anything like that even after they've done all the steps that they usually do this also helps because this acts like a pore blocker so when you press this into your skin, it blocks your pore more because yes, the, the primer does that. But this, because obviously it is powder and then it's matte as well. So it kind of, it helps to do it a bit more. It helps the primer in doing it a bit more. So I'm going to put that all over my cheeks and I'm going to press it down as I said. With under my eyes, I'm going to go in more under my eyes because this is where I do most of my highlighting. I don't do it after the foundation because sometimes after the foundation it's too harsh in it. So I go in here and I do the highlighting again. So under my like eyes here, I go and I swipe. Yeah. When I do this, it just makes it look like I'm glowing from within. Like honey, this glow? It's coming from within and you can see that like, obviously this is my face already you can see that just by doing that i'll put some on my forehead as well and press it into my skin and yes i've already done my eyeshadow here because and my eyebrows because i have my tutorials on how to do how i do my eyebrows and you know how to do like a two-toned eyeshadow so i didn't need to show you guys that again i'm just doing this to show you guys how to achieve a flawless foundation and i know look, we're looking crazy right now but honey your foundation is going to cover all that okay so don't worry about it don't worry about it as i said just i had dark marks here and here and here so i just made sure that i used something that was strong enough to cover dark marks and then i'm just using the powder where i usually am very oily or where my pores are enlarged so that i cover it that's it for that prep so now we're gonna apply our foundation i use two foundations at the moment um depending on 
the time of year and whatever my skin color changes sometimes so sometimes this is too light for me so then i mix it in with this and sometimes it's too dark and I, whatever so at the moment i'm going to be using this mary Kay foundation this is in the bronze three and i'll be using this rimmel london spf 15 and it's in the shade 503 mocha today i'm just gonna go in with this brush this is not my favorite makeup brush but it still does the job all you need to do is make sure that the the surface of your brush is flat for me at least it gives me a nicer buffing effect when it's flat so i can just press it into my skin you get what i'm saying it has that flat surface that i need it's just lovely okay so i pump some on my hand as you can see there and i put some of this mix it in with it mix it until it's consistent throughout. there's no more segregation of colors you can't really identify the two different um foundations and then obviously we don't want to waste any products so we're just gonna smear this all over our face so we save the product all right it's all gone yeah confident with that go in we dip the brush and we start patting and if you notice my motion i am patting as in i am pushing it into my skin i am not moving the product and push it it into my skin as you can see we have quite a lot of um concealer over here so i'm gonna go in back because i don't want to conceal it to show in it so i'll make sure that the concealer does not show so we're packing it in going under the eyes I tend to do a sweeping motion under the eye and then I pat it in as I go up towards my temple I'll come and clean my eyeshadow back up later as you can see yeah it's looking flawless already compared to over here over here you see you see what i mean like the underneath radiance like it's shining through rather than yeah all right cool i want to take it to the next side now and we're doing the same thing I sweep it under the eye and then I come and pat it back. We're going to go in with more again. My light keep changing because I'm using natural light so the sun has just gone behind a cloud and it might come out back in a minute so if you see my lighting changing that's why obviously guys for a flawless foundation we already have the products you know what I mean so especially if you're using products that are buildable coverage and stuff like there's no reason why I should be seeing any scars or any dark marks unless you want them to be seen. But apart from that, you don't need to see any. So feel free to go over any little areas of imperfections that you notice. 
Because, honey, we didn't buy his makeup to look the same, darling. You'd be like, oh my gosh, you look so different without makeup. Well, I haven't heard that to be fair. I'm just saying. I've never really. I always be like, oh my god, like, you look really different. Because I believe that makeup should enhance your beauty. You get me? Like, I should not look like a completely different person. But at the same time, anything I don't like, I'm going to fix it. Because I don't buy this makeup to look the same. Excuse me? Okay. I'm making sure that all these dark spots are covered because that is the aim and we're pressing it into our skin we're pressing it pressing it You're going to want to make sure that your neck and your face are the same color, okay? Because you're not trying to look like you have on a mask. Alright, so the best thing to do is to just brush your foundation down your, your neck like that. So that... And it's okay to use like natural light. In fact, that's the best light to use because then you can really see like when you go outside, how people will see your face in a natural light. Because maybe you're not walking outside with no ring light on them someday, you know. So that's why I decided today, today I want to use natural light so that you guys could kind of see and understand like what I mean when I say you want your foundation to be flawless and you want it to match So nobody can come tell her nothing, yeah, you know? Nobody can come be like, oh my god, you have here so much. You know some people just love pointing out the obvious, like, you know some days you have a, a bad makeup day? To be honest, if I have a bad makeup day, I'm not going out, you know? But I don't really do like a lot of makeup like that, like on a normal day, you get me what I say? Honestly, they even just get up and see if you go to do makeup, but... On a normal day, I'm not really, yeah. Sometimes I cannot be bothered, man. But sometimes you have a little half day, makeup not look a hundred. Not because of you, you're not able to, but because. But yeah, there they are. And some people just love, oh my god, pointing out everything. Like, I know that, sis. I'm able to see. So see, your foundation looking like a snack. So now with your foundation looking flawless, flawless, <laughs> um, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take by the same powder, right? And you just want to set it because, listen, you ain't trying to look... You get me. Just trying to set it to make sure that everything's set perfectly. So taking a bit of powder. Not a lot. And you're literally pushing it in 
to your skin. You don't need to use a lot at this stage because we already use a lot underneath, you understand? But we're just setting it so it don't look oily, you get me? So. Yeah. And that is it for my video guys i hope that you guys have learned from this video as well how to apply a flawless foundation you can see flawless um i have also done a highly requested video of how to apply my lashes that will be coming after this video so make sure that you guys stay tuned for that turn your post notifications on so that you guys will know whenever i post also remember to comment hashtag sbr nation for a chance to be shouted out in my other video all right make sure you comment down them below all right so in this video post notification shout out goes to claire hi claire thanks for commenting lows thread life Big of yourself, mate. Katik and Samantha. Hi, guys. Danny and Hilton. Wagwandi. Tyrese, I get it. Big up. Love your comments. Life with Shy. Hey, girl. Hey. And the DIYs MD. Thank you. Big up yourself. You don't know from the boss, babe queen herself. Big up. Thank you guys for commenting. Um, I see that you guys are commenting now the SBR Nation thing going up in it. So I love that. I love that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Follow all three pages. Styled by Rowena. Rowena underscore Robinson. And Styled by Rowena Apparel. Where you can get my apparel. Where you can get your tops. Your slogan tops. Your customized tops. I'll see you in another video. Bye.